Kingy, a new deal at Bristol City. How does it feel to get it all signed and sorted? Yeah, I'm delighted. Um, obviously taking a bit of time. I need to check a few things with you know, my family coming back to kids going in nursery and stuff like that. But it's all sorted now and I've been training you know, with everyone else who came back on the first day of pre-season because I knew at some point it would happen. So I wanted to make sure I hit the ground running um, with all the other lads and, and stuff like that. So delighted to get it all signed and, and yeah, I can't wait to get going in for, for another season now. You said that there, you've been here since day one. Eagle Eye supporters will have spotted you in the background of a couple of videos. So you've been here since the start of pre-season. How have those few weeks been so far? Tough. Um, yeah, no, it's been hard, especially when you've got the young lads, they fly about these days, don't they? But it's been really good. I've enjoyed it. You know, the team spirit's been really good. It's been brilliant being back with the lads. We had a good week in Austria last week and I think everyone can see the squad shaping up really well. So we're really hopeful we can have a, a positive season. Obviously, pre-season, it's about getting the minutes in the legs, trying to get the fitness as well. But if we can try and build a, a sort of togetherness and team spirit, you know, that can carry a long way in the season as well as sort of the tactical stuff and, and how we're going to be playing as a team. So it's going well so far. Um, like I said, I've loved being back and I'm really enjoying it and can't wait for the games to start now. You mentioned Australia there, a place you've been a few times now. How important are those training camps, some time away, just the squad, just the staff? How important are those for the season? Yeah, they're brilliant. I think that's why all the teams do them. You know, people go for for long periods or just a week, you know, I think they're really good, especially for the new lads. You know, they you get to see a bit of what they're like off the pitch as, as well as on it. Um, and, the, and the three or four who've joined have, have settled in brilliantly. You know, really good additions, you know, both on and off the pitch as well. So, yeah, it's looking well. We, we had a great time. Um, everyone here enjoys each other's company. And I think that's, like I said, one of the things which can which can take you a long way when, when results are, you know, in the balance, I think if you can really pull together and, and drive on, you can always you can maybe win a game where you, where you may have drawn. So, yeah, it was good. Um, hot over there, which which is obviously good for the sports science team and stuff like that. But yeah, it was really good and, and really enjoyable. Speaking a year ago, you spoke how you were frustrated in your first season to miss a lot of the season for injury. Last season, you were available for the whole season. How pleasing for you was that on a personal level? Yeah, that was that was something I wanted to sort of put right for myself first and foremost. Um, felt like I sort of let myself down a little bit in the first year, but I think last year. Um, you know, I managed to put that to bed, and, and like you said, I was available for the whole season, which was something I was I was pleased with, and I want to want to be the same again this year. Um, you know, the, especially the end of the season, you know, I had a good run in the side and was was really enjoying it. We we're picking up good results, and and hopefully we can sort of take that momentum into the start of this season. You know, how we how we finished the back end of last year. You started nine of the last twelve games with some really good team performances along there. Do you feel you played personally some of your best football in a city shirt in those final nine? Yeah, games? yeah, for sure. I think I think that's probably fair. Um, you know, made my first couple of games when I first came were good um, before the injury. And then I think, like you say, it took me a bit of time. And then, you know, that last block there, I thought, you know, I had a, a real good effect on the team. And most importantly, you know, the team were performing well and, and we were climbing the table and, and we finished the season on the high. So it was just good to be a part of it. You know, every footballer wants to be playing games and enjoying being part of a winning team. And, and you know, however many games you've played, that, that doesn't get any different. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Like I said, the, the whole season in general I enjoyed, but that last probably quarter there especially, um, was a really good one, not just for myself, but but the team in general. You mentioned there being part of a winning team. Um, we've made such big strides from where we were two years ago, from when you first came in and where we are now. What are you hoping to achieve as a squad this season? I think we have to we have to set the bar high. I think we have to look at you know those top six places. I think the top three will, will be tough if if we're being if we're being honest with, with the three who've come down. You know, big clubs, big big squads, big budgets and stuff like that. Being in the Premier League a long time. Um, but I think when you look at the playoff teams last year, you know the likes of Sunderland and Coventry, and no disrespect to them, they did that, that outstandingly well to get there. But you know, in terms of of size of club budget and, and other things like that, there's no reason why we can't be be trying to sort of put our name in that mix as well. And and it's obviously a tough league, and I'm sure there's probably 20 other teams in the Championship who will all say the same thing, who who've had mixed seasons of, of over the last three or four years as well. So, you know, that's that's the great thing about this league. Um, you know, there's there's no sort of hierarchy of teams who are always going to be at the top it is always chop and change every year and and hopefully this year it's our time to to be at the top of that more experience heading in the dressing room you've been there done that at this level but we've got a lot of young players in the squad and you've built up a, a bond with quite a few of them is that something you really relish yeah i love it to be honest um i can see the hard work that they put in and and the careers that they're going to go on and have and i think you know that makes me quite proud of the work which i can try and do with them on the pitch off the pitch you know they're they're great lads they're going to go on to have big futures and you know, seeing them sort of thrive in a Bristol City shirt is something which is, which is brilliant, not just for the club, but but for themselves as well. And and they should be really proud of them. You know, it's it's good that if they can be successful here, they can go on and be successful elsewhere. But hopefully this year, you know, we want to be successful as a team. And, and if they can grow with the club as, as we do, then even better. You've completed your UEFA A and B licenses. Yeah. How has that process been for you so far? 
It was good. It was it was long to be honest. Um, you know, it's hard work. It's a lot of sort of hours at a computer, which I'm not great with. But it's a long process, but something I enjoyed. Um, you sort of see the game from a different perspective. You know, as you go through it and and maybe see why coach and manager are doing certain things with in terms of shape and players and even even stuff like training methods and things like that. So it's interesting. It's something which I've spoke about. You know, wanting to go into in the future. Not right now. You know, like I said, I feel fit. Preseason, I felt really good. I felt good last year. So. I want to carry on playing and hopefully contribute to the team as long as possible. But it's something I'm pleased I've got because now I know you know I can move into that in the future and and hopefully being here for another year and, and working with the staff here I can sort of gain some more experience from them and, and see how they do things and, and add that for for when I finally go on to hopefully have a career in management as well. And finally, do you have a message for the supporters ahead of the new season? No, I think just the same as what it has been the last two years I've been here and that's you know they've been absolutely brilliant and, and if they can stick with us you know. We, we don't know what we can achieve this year. It could be anything. Um, we feel we can set the bar high and really look at that top six. Um, and if they can stick with us the whole way, because there is going to be ups and downs during the season, then so be it. But, you know, it's been, been absolutely brilliant since I've been here and, and I can't fault them at all.